All right, so this was the big news this week, guys. The really big news. Uh, Julia Garner is cast as Shala Ball version of uh, Silver Surfer in the coming Fantastic Four movie. And the internet lost its collective head. Yes, uh, they do. <laughs> what do we think of this case? I'm gonna, I have a theory, and I'll get to that, but I'm, I want to ask you guys about this casting first. So, John, what do you think? Don't know the actress? Sure, why not? I have no opinion. I don't know. I don't know who she is. I haven't seen her anything, probably. So you know, okay. <clears throat> um, you're probably not. First, you're not probably not familiar with the Shallow Ball version of Silver Surfer either. No, I'm so. not. I'm not. I'm. I'm, I'm not. Um, but it doesn't bother me. I knew there was one. So you know, okay. All right, JD. What did you think? I kind of get it because, like. Um... I'm not outraged, but I can't understand because I feel like we're getting the MCU version of the Silver Surfer and we're not getting the Silver Surfer. You know, so I kind of... <clears throat> it's like I talked about earlier. Like, like, if I want Jack Reacher, I want the six-foot-six-inch Jack Reacher. You know? Um, so I kind of... Not the fun size? Yeah, not, not the fun size Jack Reacher. You know? <laughs> That's good, John. That's really good. Um, so I kind of get that. Um, Shalabal is, in, in the MCU 616 continuity, is Norrin Rad's love right Norn rad what? sacrificed himself to galactus to become the herald to save his planet specifically so the love of his life could survive it's a great little story to be honest with you mm -hmm. uh i think i know where dave's going with this so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna steal his thunder but i don't know like i can i kind of i'll let i'll let dave kind of sum up because i can't go to my thoughts without him laying out <laughs> his scenario Okay, so both, uh, anyway, real quick, J Drew and, and um, Kassan both say that uh, she was great in those arcs. And I have, no, I have no issue. I don't know her as an actress. Um, I haven't seen anything, she's, and I don't have an issue with it. Um, so my theory, my working theory is that they're, the Fantastic Four movie, because, hey, everyone, don't forget, we're in the multiverse right now. We're in the multiverse saga still. Yeah. So the Fantastic Four does not take place in the main continuity. That is an alternate version, and that's why we're getting Ball of Gaul, and then Chalo. something's going to happen. I'm sorry, what did I say? You, a series of squeaks that did not sound like Shallow Ball. Oh, okay. Um, and that something's going to happen, and they're going to get pushed into our universe, and eventually we will get um, the Silver Surfer that we know. But yes, she's from the Earth X storyline, which is like an alternate future storyline from the comics so uh so you, you think they're gonna start it like that though like not in universe but that is why they've already that said is, them. Uh, yeah and, and that is why all the artwork is hinting that that takes place in the 60s but like mm -hmm. how could the fantastic four have existed in the 60s but no one's ever heard of them oh you know? uh, they're gonna do this with deadpool right i guess i have like, never said anything well here's the thing is that I no, because, the no, okay here's the thing i want to point this out too everyone keeps forgetting there is a Secret Wars uh, movie Movies. on the on the the what do you read? plan Horizon Horizon yeah right? that's the word I was looking for and like, it's one of the a... few that they've said they're not they're not and cancel. Secret Wars two was on Battleworld where they collapsed all the multiverse universes into one in Marvel right. Comics and I think that's what they're doing with that good um, I'm of the mind that the Fantastic Four should be adventurers. So if they're like, and that's what they should, they should be discovering things. That's the best Fantastic Four stories. So to have them be from an alternate universe is fine with me. I like it. Now my vibe is uh, Johnny Storm, Frankie Ray. That's from the six one six. Frankie Ray becomes Nova, the Herald of Galactus. So I have a hunch that we're going to circumvent Nor and Rad in this story and have the story like uh, the unrequited love story between. Johnny Storm, the Human Torch, and Shala Ball, the Silver Surfer. Because that, one, I think it'll be a, an interesting visual, right? With like the fire and the silver. Like I think that will look cool on screen. And I think there's stuff you can do with it. Joseph Quinn, very good actor, great casting as Johnny Storm. Like, and you have something there. It makes sense to and me. And isn't that kind of what they did in the Fantastic Four Two movie with the Silver Surfer? Like he develops a relationship with Sue. And yeah. that makes them want to save humanity. Yeah, mm. it, they, yeah, they did do that, but I'm glad they're not doing that with Sue here. Like, I'm because Sue, it's I want especially for a first one, I want them to focus on keeping Sue and Reed because there's a lot of work they have to do to make that work because people are going to jump on how problematic that relationship yeah. has always been, quite frankly. Um, so if they can, and with 
Vanessa Kirby and Pedro Pascal playing the characters, big age difference. So there's going to be some people up in arms to begin with. So you got to assuage, 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 I can never say that word. Assuage. 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 Thank you. You need to assuage that. And like them having a functional, maybe not perfect, but functional relationship would be better there. So I like that this gives Johnny something to do. Because I don't think Johnny had a lot to do in any of the Fantastic Four movies, quite frankly. So that's the first one. I mean, he's just kind of a guy. I mean, like, he's just there for comic relief a lot of it. Like, it's not. Mm. Like, yeah. I, mean, and the, I want and to the... see character. I want to see character work. And I think that that's my vibe on this. So that's where it's going. Oh, I meant Roger Corman's. He he actually saved the planet himself. I mean, it's it's funny, too, because when, um, when they had. when they you see how many views? Do you see how many views that episode got? Not great. No one even cared when we talked about it. But that's the whole hmm. thing. They, they cast Chris Evans as uh, Johnny Storm in those movies because of the. What was the another teen movie that he yeah, was not in? Another, not another not teen a, movie. Not another teen movie. Right. So it's like because he it, handsome. It was, he was handsome and it was funny. He was he. he they, she showed comedic chops, and that's what they wanted for Johnny Storm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think which they're going to go that route. Again. Which is a lot of Johnny Storm. I mean, that's. Did you watch Stranger Things season four? Eddie Munson, a lot of that too. He showed a lot of charisma, a lot of yeah. personality. You have to have that with Johnny. Like he, that's that's the character. But I want to see something from him too, and if it's the way I think they're gonna go with it, I mean, like it makes sense. Like I'm okay. I'm good. I'm in. I'm cool. You it'll, know? it'll be nice if Sue and Reed have chemistry. Like the actors actually have chemistry. This I'm time. gonna assume oh, they did a yeah. bunch of screen testing with this, <clears throat> right? To find two actors that have that. And to be frank, Pedro Pascal has, has like chemistry with everybody he's on I set, think, with, including a puppet. I think <laughs> it's uh, the Fox. <laughs> I think the Fox Fantastic Four movies missed the boat with that because yeah. I felt like they were writing those movies to keep them apart. You know, like they were. They were trying to create drama. Right. And it was stupid. Like And they didn't yeah. have a lot of chemistry. Like Ian Grafode and uh, uh uh Jessica Alba. It just didn't I didn't see either of them. How do you not characters. have chemistry well, with they, Jessica Alba? That's all I wanted to know. They they only had Jessica Alba on not exactly for chemistry, but much. just to have her take her 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 clothes off that was that was literally i mean the joke was that she kept you know reappearing after she took her clothes off that was the only reason they had her on there well she's good looking that's why they had her on there i mean yeah. she's not she's not a um known for her acting chops oh she's pretty good in sin city um i don't, I don't know. like her she's <laughs> she's pretty i'm not gonna say she, she's not pretty well she's but... she's got some acting jobs she just that wasn't what they Does brought she... her on there for no but i mean like she's okay like what is she doing now well I... yeah my well, no is... she i i read an article not that long ago she walked away from acting because she wanted to raise her family mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. that's what they all say um hey <laughs> sure hey, nice. I mean, no, right. i'm sorry she's not that good like she's pretty she got like like there's lots of there's lots of very pretty actresses that are talented they're super talented that work all the time like no one her like she's she's not very good in those movies and like a lot of it too is the two actors don't have a lot of chemistry like those movies aren't very yeah. good like honestly chris evans and michael chiklis were cast well but they aren't given yes. enough to do like the real thing is what are you gonna do with the thing like that's the thing is the heart of the fantastic four like yeah. let's see if they stick the landing on that there's a lot this movie has a lot. And the less they tie into the 616 MCU or whatever we're calling the MCU, like the better off they're going to be. They need to establish something. They, they, is they it 616? Have, yeah, they have said it's 616 now, which so not, like, drives me nuts. It's weird. But whatever. Like they need to they need to make sure they, they, they focus on their movie before they traverse space time. Well, if you do thing right, you can do a solo thing movie too as well, I think. I don't know. See, I know I hear what you're saying. There's a lot of solo thing comics. I think those fan. I've always been in mind the Fantastic Four characters are just better when they're with each other. Okay. Like the relationship of the Fantastic Four is what makes it work. Hmm. I like some of the solo thing books though. So maybe that's just my personal preference. You like Thing One or Thing Two? Oh, <laughs> Thanks for watching this clip from the Superhero Speak podcast. And don't forget to watch us live every Sunday night right here on this channel. While you're here, hit the subscribe button and click the bell for notifications so you won't miss out on any of our great upcoming content. Speaking of content, don't forget to check out our website, SuperheroSpeak.com, where you can find the podcast, links to our social media, merch, comic reviews, and so much more. That's SuperheroSpeak.com. Thanks for watching, and don't let your cape be caught in the door. See you next time.